What's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the top three best credit cards to start your financial journey with as a beginner. I'm going to talk about why I chose specifically these three credit cards. I'm going to talk about what each one of these credit cards has to offer. And I'm going to talk about why it's so important for you to own a credit card as a beginner. Hi guys, my name is Dennis and in this channel, I talk about personal finance as well as my continuous journey to financial freedom. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that you need to have a credit card in order to start building up your credit credit score as a beginner. Building up a good credit score early on is very important for a number of reasons. First and foremost, a good credit score can open up a lot of financial opportunities for you in the future. For example, if you want to buy a car or a house, Lenders will typically look at your credit score first in order to determine if you're a good candidate for a loan. If you have a good credit score to begin with, you're more likely to get approved for the loan and you're actually more likely to get a better interest rate overall, which can save you a lot of money over the lifetime of the loan. Another reason why building up a good credit score early on is very important is that it can help you establish a good financial foundation for yourself. A good credit score can give you more financial flexibility and it can help you avoid financial pitfalls like high interest debt and late payment fees. By building a good credit score at a young age, you can set yourself up for long-term financial success. And the final reason is that a good credit score can come in handy in other areas of your life. For example, if you want to rent an apartment or sign up to a cell phone plan, having a great credit score can help you sign up to all of these services easily without any problems. Now, building up a good credit score is clearly linked to owning a credit card. But as a teenager or as a young adult, it's not always easy to sign up to a credit card because not all credit cards will accept you. This is because most credit card companies first look at your credit history before they approve you to a card, which is pretty ironic because you need to have a card in order to be approved for a card, but you need to have a card in order to build up your credit score. So it doesn't really make sense. But with this list, you can sign up to a credit card easily. Some credit card companies are clearly aware of this never ending loop of needing a credit card and having a credit card. That's why they made it very simple to apply for a credit card. And these three companies I'm going to talk about right now. Now, before I talk about these credit cards, I first wanted to let you guys know that there are specific features that I look for in a card. When first looking for a credit card, I make sure that this card doesn't have any annual fees associated with it because who needs annual fees for just a regular card that you're using on a daily basis. Paying annual fees for a credit card for me is the same thing as paying your boss money in order to get your paycheck. So all three of these credit cards that I personally use myself have no annual fee so you have nothing to worry about. So the first credit card that I want to mention on this list is a card that's very dear and close to my heart because it's the first credit card that I ever used. And I'm talking about the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Like I just mentioned, the Chase Freedom Unlimited was the first credit card that I ever applied to when I was around 18 years old and I got accepted to it right away. The Chase Freedom Unlimited makes it very easy to apply for it as a beginner because they don't set very high standards to apply for this card. Now, the reason that I like this card so much is because they offer 5% cash back on travel purchased through Chase Unlimited Rewards. They offer 3% on dining at restaurants, including takeout and eligible delivery services. They offer 3% on drug stores and they offer 1.5% on all other purchases. Now, when I first got accepted to this card almost 10 years ago, the only thing that they offered is the 1.5% cash back. But since then, about 10 years, they've added so many new features and offers for you guys to have. And like I mentioned before, this card has no annual fees. The cash back that you guys are going to be earning don't expire and you can check up on your credit score with real time alerts. Now, if you guys are looking to sign up for this credit card, I'll leave down a link in the video description where you can earn $200 when you spend $500 or more on purchases within the first three months of opening the account. Just make sure that these $500 that you spend in the first three months is purchases that you were going to make anyway and not going out of your budget. Now, the second credit card that I recommend for you guys to sign up as a beginner is the Discover it secured. Now the secured part just means that you're going to have to put down a refundable security deposit that will temporarily act as your credit limit for that card. For example, if you put down $200 as a refundable security deposit, the credit card company will take that $200 and make that your credit card limit for the card. They pretty much do this as a precaution so that they don't have to risk their own money when they're giving a credit card to a person with no credit history. Now, the reason that I like this card so much is that it allows beginners such as yourself to start building up a credit score without losing any money in the short term. And like always, this Discover It card has no annual fees and it offers 2% cash back on gas stations and restaurants 
and 1% cash back on all other purchases. Now they also offer a dollar for dollar cash back match on all cash back that you're gonna earn in the first year of owning this car. That's pretty much the same thing as earning 4% on gas stations and restaurants and 2% on everything else in the first year. Now alternatively, if you already started building up your credit score and you want a better cash back offer, Discover It also has an unsecured card called Discover It Cash Back. Discover It Cash Back gives you a 5% cash back on rotating categories each quarter and a 1% cash back on all other purchases. This Discover It card also offers a dollar for dollar cash back match on the first year. So everything you'll be earning in the first year in cash back is gonna be doubled. The Discover It card also comes with all of these features and more once you get approved. Honestly, if I were you guys, I would probably apply for this Discover It card first before applying to the secured card so that you don't have to put $200 or whatever as a collateral. Who knows, maybe you'll get approved. And again, I'll leave a link to both of these Discover cards in the video description where you can earn $100 when you put your first purchase on the card within the first three months. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that you can help this video spread to more people. Thank you. Now the third and final card that I want to talk about in this video is the Capital One Quicksilver Rewards Credit Card. This credit card is a great all-around card for beginners to apply for because they also don't have high standards for people to apply to. This credit card offers a flat 1.5% cash back on all purchases with no rotating categories to keep track of. The Quicksilver offers no foreign transaction fees, access to concierge services, extended warranty protection, and fraud coverage. It also offers a 0% intro APR on the first nine months of opening up this card. Now, I would personally apply to the first two credit cards on this list before the Capital One Quicksilver. That's because the first two credit card companies have so many more cashback offers than Quicksilver does. But if you guys are still interested to apply for this card, I'll leave a link down below in the video description where you can also earn a $200 bonus if you spend $500 in the first three months of opening up this account. Now, like I mentioned before, I personally own all three of these credit cards right here. I like using every single one of these cards and every single one of these cards benefited me in one way or another. I keep the Discover It card and I use it for the 5% cash back on rotating categories. I use the Chase Freedom Unlimited for the 3% cash back on restaurants and drugstores. And I use Capital One's Quicksilver on all other purchases to get 1.5%. So in total, I'm putting all of my bills and my daily and monthly expenses on these credit cards and I'm earning cash back from it. But if you're only a beginner in your credit card journey, these three credit cards can help you start building up your credit score to open up financial opportunities in the future. Just a reminder for everybody watching that you should only be using these credit cards on purchases that you would have been making anyway if it wasn't for the card. In other words, don't go out of your way to spend money that you guys don't have on credit cards because you're gonna have to pay that back anyway and it's not gonna build a good credit score if you don't. If you're using any credit card whatsoever, you have to make sure that you pay off your balance in full on time every month with no excuses. Only then can you start building up a great credit score without going into debt or paying unnecessary interest. The total United States credit card debt for 2022 is over $900 billion. So don't make yourself part of the statistic. Again, make sure to pay off the full balance on every single card before the time that is due monthly. Don't forget if you guys want to sign up to any of these credit cards that I just mentioned, I'll leave links below in the video description where you can press each link and get access to these cards separately. These links are affiliate links so you guys are going to be helping my channel as well when signing up through my links. So thank you. Now there are several specific ways to avoid credit card debt for the rest of your life. That's why I made this video right here where I talk about the four best ways to avoid credit card debt forever. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any credit card recommendations for me to look at. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.